Hello, and welcome back to Kirby Triple Deluxe. Have you ever noticed how more modern games don't have the option to copy save files into different slots that often anymore? Just a random thought. Let's go to stage 3. This one has four sunstones. Guess we better get moving then. We have yet another background to foreground obstacle. Obviously you don't want to get hit by those. I don't think I need to say that. We haven't had Cutter yet. A boomerang that returns to your hand after being thrown. You can charge it up, steer its light path upward or downward, and use it to cut ropes. Cutter is one of the abilities that is has been most improved since older games, though it was improved in Return to Dreamland, and this just carries that over. Because you can do more than just this. It doesn't make it that great still, but it's definitely better than it was. And of course, we still have Final Cutter. Cutter enemies have been upgraded with 3D technology as well. Oh yeah, I guess we can do that. And like Sword, it cuts grass. Which is semi-important for this reason. And others. Can't go up here though. Must cut all grass. And we have a rare metal of some sort. Nothing down there. Kirby, please, I want you to turn around. And only stars in here. You'd think one of the sunstones would show up already, given that there's four of them. But... No sign so far. Here's another gyroscope tilt controls gimmick, aiming rockets. It's not terribly difficult, except sometimes you have three rockets. That's more than one, and also more than two. And there's a sunstone. Might as well clear out the rest of the rocks though. Okay, that Waddle Dee was unfortunately in the way. And that is the first sunstone in this stage. Even though it's been going on for a little bit. Oh well. Let's switch it up. I feel like Sword is more versatile than Cutter, so... Might as well use it. Oh yeah, I forgot that it can do a spin attack. That was dumb. Well, that, there's a demonstration of what getting hit by a boulder is like, I suppose. Thankfully, a lot of things can burn grass. And there's some invincibility frames going on with this fire, so that's also helpful. Oh, we needed fire anyway. Here, we have another gimmick. Mm -hmm. Gotta line it up. There are harder versions of this later in the game. And the, and the tilt controls can be a little touchy, so it can be a little bit difficult, but it's not that bad. There's our second sunstone. I'm guessing Fire's fireball dash thing would be ideal for speedrunning, if you wanted to speedrun this game for some reason. 
Remember when I said that this was the only gimmick instead of like the the super abilities? And I probably also said that it shows up really often. Well, it shows up really often. There were hidden donuts in that block mound. You have stuff like this. Lots of enemies designed specifically to be eaten by Kirby's ravenous maw of death. Oh, you can also go through these. Naturally, the things inside the logs can only be eaten when you inhale their blue tail bit. Which is why it's there. I guess. I don't know why you can't inhale them otherwise. Because they seem, like, equally situated in the log, regardless of direction, but... I'm not here to argue the logic of Kirby's inhaling abilities, because there is none. And why did they turn around, anyway? Answer me that one. That block is just there to be in the way. What do we have in here? Oh no, a puzzle. Finger quotes in the air surrounding the word puzzle. Can Kirby still do air quotes without fingers? It probably just looked like he was trying to do his weird clapping animation from Smash Bros. Sunstone number three. We're still on track. There's one more, and it's going to be at the end. Probably. Now, was there any reason to go down there? Probably not. I would have stayed in the background if I were you. Weird gorilla waddle things. That's not how you fight this. This is another one of those... Okay, I'm impatient. This is another Hypernova boss fight. I make sure to point these out because, you know, you gotta do boss rushes later in the game. And there might be more than one kind of boss rush. <clears throat> these bullets look like large versions of the crash enemies. There's probably a reason for that. It's difficult to be sneaky with a giant spiked pillar, but you tried, Cannon. You tried. <laughs> Gotta give you props for that, I guess. And here we're gonna take a cue from Epic Yarn. And, uh unravel the background a little bit. And there's that sunstone at the end, like I said. I guess I remembered things better than I gave myself credit for. Time to screw up the bonus minigame. Oh. That was perfect instead. Reverse psychology? Maybe? I imagine that the psychology of Kirby is not a very deep subject. Here's some stuff. Hooray, stuff! The music on that screen is a subtle remix, which I didn't notice until I started doing this recording thing. Of that that music that plays in some parts of the Kirby, yeah, that that one. Speaking of remixes, I just wanted to let the music start up there. Don't want you, Spark. You're awful. I hate Spark. Hate is a strong word, maybe, but. I do not actively enjoy. 
Who is this spiky-haired savior? Maybe eventually one of these people will be someone I recognize, but probably not. Because I don't pay attention to who my classmates are. Alright, Hornhead. I'm gonna fight you the old... The, the old-timey classic Kirby way. Where I just idly stand around while I wait for you to kill yourself. Basically. You're probably wondering, if you haven't played this game before, what ability Hornhead is responsible for. And now you're about to find out. Beetle! It's a new one. A flash of light reflects off its horn as the King of Bugs soars through the sky. If the king wouldn't it be off his horn? Anyway, after charging your enemies to grab them with your horn, you can slam them into the ground. We've got a variety of fun times awaiting us. This is sort of like a, a suplex-ish ability mixed with wing and maybe some other things it's pretty fun I enjoy it you can impale things like that and you can pick them up like this and then you do throws on them like suplex or you can just you know stab them The up attack is pretty good, also. Really, Beetle as a whole is a pretty solid power, at least against, like, standard enemies and so on. I see a sunstone. Do you see a sunstone? That would be number one. We have rem we are remaining on track. It occurs to me that enemies swooping out of the background like this. By the way, sneaky keychain. It's kind of like how in really old Kirby games, enemies would just sort of plummet and land on your head, except you can actually see the dimension that they're coming from now. Sort of. If that makes any sense. It makes a little bit of sense. Oh, hey, Needle. Whoops, I accidentally ate an energy drink. Needle! Got nerfed a little bit since Return to Dreamland. Cover yourself in pointy needles to poke your enemies and attach to walls. You can also poke needles into the ceiling and floor. Needle attack, wall stick, needle burst. But in Return to Dreamland, if I remember correctly, Needle had some sort of spin attack thing that traveled along the, the ground or something. Well, it doesn't in this. That's gone. I don't know why, it just is. Let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Because this looks suspiciously- ow. This looks suspiciously missing things. No? Okay. Just paranoid. Also, Kirby's spikes don't seem to be equal in length all around his body, which is... I mean, I guess you can do that. And that. So it's not too bad. Ah! Yeesh. Needle is okay. Do I not get to go back there? Sometimes the game makes you worry by designing itself like this. I say that as if the game is a... a self-designing mechanism. I'm sure we'll get back there eventually, somehow.
Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm prob- I probably missed something. This is perspective nonsense. With Gordos. Oh, see? Here we are, back here. There's no indication that'll happen, so you're busy worrying about how... It doesn't make sense. That would be number two. And we were invincible just long enough to destroy a bear. Welcome to Tilt Controls again! I should point out that during Tilt Controls sections, there's a handy button on the bottom screen that says Reset Tilt for if your gyroscope gets out of whack. Naturally, these tilting platforms become a lot more complicated later in the game. This is only a preview. They have, like, inclines and stuff. Wow. I saw you there, a crack in the ground. I almost didn't. So. This is the, I guess, first part where it's semi-complex. In the sense that you don't want to get burned when you have the key, because the key will get burned. And you need the key to open the door. And if you if it's burned, you don't have it. And yeah, there's the last sunstone. Let me continue stating many obvious things. As if Kirby games were aimed only at children. E for everyone means everyone, not babies. I'm not sure why I need to address that, because this is not, like, middle school. Junior high. I... Eh. I'm going on tangents. I don't know why they threw a random bell enemy at the end of the stage there to do nothing, but... I guess if you want it in the next level, you can, you can have it, I guess. This is the opposite of how things usually go with the bonus game. Hey look, you can see Birdon up there spoiling that Wing is in this game. Thanks for the sandwich. And cherries and something else. I think... I'm not sure, but I think that the golden cheat you're, the golden keychains, yeah, whatever that is. The golden keychains are set things. Boss time. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. It is a mystery. I hope you like this victory jingle, because it's going to happen twice at the end of every world. Not to mention constantly in the stages. Let's do the extra stage before we get to, uh... Mystery Tree Man. Here we have a remix of the... of Magalore's ship for some reason. I don't know. I guess it's nice. Something something... Torfeldegar. Bungalows, etc. References to previous LPs. Oh, I guess we didn't need to be spoiled about Wing. Because it's right here. This tricky ability features a variety of high-flying moves. Soar through the air with shuttle loop and attack your opponents from above. It's like it was in Superstar as so many things in this game are, which is a good thing. I mean, I got nothing against Superstar. Superstar is pretty amazing. 
Ow. I'm not very amazing. Check out those those lumberjack waddledees and look how happy they are to have done their job. They're doing a little victory dance with their wood cutting. <laughs> of course, there's not one there where we need one. But here we have a demonstration that if you break trees, they break rocks. It's the circle of life, somehow. I guess Wing is an alright ability. Yeah. You can spam it like that as usual. This is a very high... Uh, never mind. The music changed before I could talk about it more. I think this music is directly from Return to Dreamland. A lot of the stuff in this game is directly from Return to Dreamland, in case you didn't notice. Wing isn't the best for attacking straight up. What is with these Gorilla Waddledees anyway? They look like Kirby when he eats Donkey Kong in Smash Bros. <laughs> Except they're just large, chunky Waddledees who are repeatedly damaging me because they exist. <laughs> I'll just eat a carrot and ignore that one. So a lot of the times, extra stages like to be world gimmicks in review a little bit. Or at least they just like to incorporate things that have shown up in the world. Or are going to show up. Multiple things in one stage. Props to the bear for being able to sleep through a tree crashing next to it. The tree falls in a forest and everybody near it is asleep doesn't make a sound. Man, I wish the clean ability was in more than one game. Or more than yeah, I think it Point is that clean doesn't exist anymore. And I am a fool. There's obviously something down here. Sacrifice yourself, Kirby, for the good of the treasure chest. That looked kind of weird. Don't be too alarmed if I manage to die in a Kirby game. It is entirely possible. I think the Lumberjack Waddledees are one of the few... Like, Waddledees that you don't get to destroy utterly. Speaking of Waddle Dees, I'll just take that right now, thank you. Extra stages also end with a super mid boss. Locky DX, in this case. They've got a rad remix of the Superstar boss music going for them, so that's cool. Or, I should probably not try to be fancy. What did I just say? Eat it. And stone, because why not? Kirby rocks with a stone ability. Slide down slopes and squash your, your enemies in seconds flat. With so many possible transformations, who knows what he'll turn into next? There's only so many. 
So, yeah, stone is returned to dreamland stone, pretty much. I don't know if you could charge the uppercut before. And the uppercut wasn't in older games either. And you can do like a super slam and, and a dash attack and so on. Stone's pretty cool. I like stone. EX stages aren't big on sunstones. They're usually near the end, or at the very end. Though I think there are a few extra stages that have more than one. There we go! That's what I was expecting to do. I love Kirby's disappointment. Magical paintbrush! It, it, it's Kirby. Just plain Kirby. Would it, is it surreal to find a keychain of yourself? I wonder. Man, I must have a lot of street pass stuff, like, waiting on this game. Anyway, since we're here, let's just fight the first boss. I believe I said that bosses are a little longer and more complicated in this game. And that is generally the case. Hmm. Let's be thematic since we're fighting a tree. Hey look, it's King Dedede. Being hauled away by a mysterious figure. Um. I guess when he got behind the bush he left. There he is. Get him, Kirby! This mysterious figure is... a lot like Kamek in Yoshi's Island. In the sense that A, he's abducting someone, and B, he goes around transforming things into much worse things. Welcome to totally not Wispy Woods. I mean, Flowery Woods, or, you know, what have you. I, I swear bosses are more complicated than usual. You'll see. See, he's hit half health and gone into crazy mode. He has summoned the background to do his bidding. And now more stuff happens. This is what you're supposed to inhale if you have no abilities. And then he throws roots everywhere. Which you might not be aware that you can attack at first, but you can. Fire seems to be pretty good against flowery woods. I don't know if you can destroy those or not. More varied root attacks. The boss has a lot of different moves, but you can actually... You actually have a lot more opportunities to attack than you might think at first. And that tends to be a theme for this game. In some ways, it's kind of cool. In other ways, I miss roasting bosses in, like, two seconds. That was a few minutes, I think. So now this horrible abomination of life is forced to remain alive forever. When he woke up this morning, he was just a flower. Anyway, let's grab this extra big sunstone. Which is probably important. And... The traditional victory dance. Where do the other Kirbys go when the victory dance is over? Nobody knows. With the power of this... Deluxe Sunstone, we have unlocked the way to the next world!
Which is made out of candy. So that's interesting. Who knew all these floating islands were here in the first place? Stay tuned, because next time on Kirby's Triple Deluxe, Lollipop Land. By the way, Shiverstar is Earth. 